I apologized when she kissed me. I said, I'm sorry, but I just, I just don't know how to do this anymore. Frustratingly withdrawing from the nearness of her skin, I begin to explain how, for the past five years, I've spent very little of my life not dreaming of this very moment. The far too many nights in prayerful preparation for these exact set of circumstances to take place. The precise succession of events needed to lead her most deliriously perfect lips to mine. And despite these persistent imaginings over the years, placating a heart whose arrhythmic beat seems, to as if, seems as if to obsessively call out her name, it appears some significant part of me has shifted. The understanding of myself has been rearranged, jumbled about, and I no longer sense my own pleasure, nor remember how to feel aroused. It all comes off distant, lifeless, like rote behavior, like the forcing of numb flesh upon dissected memories. I tell her I've burnt my tongue on too many disappointments that I can barely taste what I've waited my whole life to know. And at that moment, she grabs my face with both hands, stares directly at the shame welling up in my eyes, and forgives me with her lips all over again. Though this time she kisses me as if I just told her I could never love another, as if salvation from both our past hid somewhere deep within our mouths, as if we'd been given a second chance at first love. I begin to reminisce on how much I've written, the decades spent contemplating numerous versions of the one, always bargaining my desires against the criterion of fantasy and dream, never realizing how cold that unknown can leave you. And it leaves me, I suppose, just as I had left so many others, wondering where they fell short, which mistaken step did they put such faith in, only to find the proverbial rug had already long been pulled, the ever-inclusive answers to when and how did it all begin to slip right up from under us, and if there's anyone to even blame at all. I spent these past five years blaming destiny's sloth, the lethargy of truth, the inaccuracy of justice, holding on to my own falsity of judgment that time will one day be my friend. And here I am, locked in mid-kiss with the woman I've so patiently pined for since the day we first met, still feeling alone. Because during those years, time has stolen so much of what I originally was, and I am now at a loss as what to do, or like I said, how to. I just don't know how to do this anymore. I can't... I can feel her beautiful intentions, her selflessness, desire, fear, and apprehension, that playful dance of attraction and retraction. I can hear her expectations, the anticipation of release, her thoughts of tomorrow and the years we never made use of. I can taste the renewed innocence on her lips, and the hard-fought experience of her tongue searching for another way home. Yet, through that thorough search, the undeniable scent of something's amiss awakens her intuition, and she begins to sense that I may no longer see her as the welcomed picture of my happiness. But there is certainly substantial cause for doubt. But she keeps kissing me anyway. And the thing is, the but part of me feels like I'm too late, too old, too jaded, too blinded by my own insecurities, too protective of my own heart, too burdened by my adherence to a reality that never seems to have any place in it for love. She keeps kissing, and I try to hide from her this midnight hour midlife crisis, this fervent unrest, total revolution against what should be instinctual within, it leaves me indecisive and unmoved, kissing, kissing. And I guess it's easier to hide when it's late at night and the lights are low, easier to pretend it doesn't hurt when history and physiology are her only adversaries. Kiss, kiss, 
kiss, and I suppose I can will myself in a frenzied submission and join her in this adventure, swallow down the wrong lingering in the back of my throat and act the role of happy, but kiss, I'm growing tired of the lies, kiss, and she'd catch on, kiss, sooner or later. So I push her away once again and really let her see me open and on display with the silence of my entire life strewn before her i let her in like no one else and stand face to face in front of another human being for the first time in my 35 years unashamed and completely honest She told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> Walked out the door, and we haven't spoken since. Oh.